Blockbuster season is over. Now it's time for Oscar season. Hi, welcome to Film Forum. I'm Spencer Bickett, and with me today is my colleague Zach Kaiser. Today, we're going to look forward to Oscar season and the movies we're looking forward to coming out in the next couple of months. Um, first, one we're really jazzed about, um, The Revenant, coming out on Christmas Day, um, directed by Alejandro Iñárritu, starring Leo DiCaprio, Tom Hardy, Dom Al Gleason. This one looks pretty good, Zach. Yeah, it's got the famous cinematographer Emmanuel um, Lubezki in it, um, and he's got a really storied career. He was on uh, Terrence Malick's The Tree of Life and um, Gravity by Alfonso Cuarón, mm -hmm. and also the Cat in the Hat movie with Mike Myers. <laughs> so he's got a um, got to get paid every once in a while. Yeah, got to get that paycheck sometimes. This one, it's Leo DiCaprio plays a trapper um, who's kind of left for dead by his. Well, not really his buddies, in <laughs> some foreign remote areas, and he survives, and he vows vengeance, and he's going after him. What really intrigued me about this one is that it was shot entirely in natural light in a really remote location. Kind of a strange, arduous production, kind of like Apocalypse Now. Like, usually um, films will have very controlled light, but, but the fact that they went natural for this sort of uh, gets to the visceral, like frontier gritty part of it mm -hmm. and i especially just remember watching the trailer and at some point you know leo dicaprio is crawling through the mud and the dirt and i just imagine he was thinking about finally getting that oscar when he was going through <laughs> that scene that trailer was awesome yeah it was a very good trailer also coming out on christmas day is hateful eight directed by quentin tarantino this one was kind of a strange situation the script got leaked online about a year ago um, Tarantino said he wasn't going to do it, I guess changed his mind, brought in a bunch of his favorite guys, and it looks like, from the trailer, it's classic vintage Tarantino. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge Tarantino fanboy, and I'm excited for this one because it looks like kind of a mashup between Django Unchained and Reservoir Dogs, where it's in a western setting, but you have that Reservoir Dogs uh, plot style of a bunch of criminals stuck in a room together, and all they're all suspicious of each other's motives and stuff. It's going to be pretty cool. He brought in a bunch of his favorites, um, Sam Jackson, Tim Roth, Kurt Russell, Michael Madsen. It's Oscar season. It's always, well, it's never too early to look forward <laughs> to the best actor. We mentioned Leo DiCaprio. Um, I don't think he's going to get it this year. Um, Eddie Redmayne is going to be in this movie, The Danish Girl, um, where he plays Lily Elba, the first woman to go through um, gender reassignment. Um, he looks like he really threw himself into the role. I would I would be surprised if he didn't at least get nominated and he wasn't the forerunner when it yeah. comes out. I think he's a, a favorite because of that role, because um, the the Academy likes to um, pay a lot of attention to the social issue movies, and um, Eddie Raymond definitely gave a lot of himself for this part. Mm -hmm. And um, of the last seven Best Actor Oscar winners, five of them have been historical portrayals, and you just look through the nominations. They really dig um, historical portrayals, so hasn't ever been done, but I think Eddie Redmayne could pull a Drake and go back-to-back -back here with his Best Actor wins. Another one, it's getting a lot of buzz, The Martian, starring Matt Damon based on a really well-known book. Um, watched the trailers, looked interesting, but it just... I don't really get all the buzz that people are having behind it. Some people seem really excited, and I just don't know. I feel like I've seen it before. Like, I can't separate that from his turn in uh, Interstellar as yeah. an astronaut. Yeah, yeah. It's the same. Yeah. Is, could you say The Martian is actually Interstellar 2? Maybe. <laughs> Another one I wanted to mention, Bridge of Spies, coming out in a couple of months, starring Tom Hanks, Cold War era. Um... It just really didn't resonate for me. I watched the trailer and I thought, man, my parents and my grandparents are going to love this movie. I disagree. Apparently, I like grandpa movies for some reason. Um, this is going to be uh, putting Tom Hanks back in the same 50s, 60s uh, aesthetic that he did in Catch Me If You Can, which I really liked. Mm -hmm. And that was a good movie, but I think this is kind of a sign that Tom Hanks is entering that portion of career where he's just kind of taking those safe roles and just trying to play it safe. But who knows? Well, those are the movies we're looking forward to coming up in the next couple of months. Let us know on social media what you're looking forward to, and we'll see you next time on Phil Forum. Bye, guys. See ya.